good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to use the new open source emr cli tool to build deploy and run spark jobs on emr serverless so let's get started so aws has just released this feature and uh, i decided to give a try so here you can see the blog post uh, again all the steps are essentially given in the blog post um so in this um what i'm gonna do is i already have um I already have an EMR serverless application. I'm going to essentially show you how easy it becomes to use the new EMR CLI tool. So let's get started. On my computer, now uh, basically create a project directory. We're going to call demo and then open the terminal in this directory. Now, what we need to do is we need to do pip3 install EMR CLI. After doing pip3 install EMR CLI, you can verify that by saying EMR hyphen hyphen help. And here you can see the EMR CLI has now been installed on my computer. Now we need to issue a command called EMR init my project. This is going to create a project on your computer. So let's essentially do that. So now back to my console, I'm going to say EMR init my project. And as you can see, the project has been created. And if I refresh my folder, I can see a jobs folder where a sample Python uh, Spark job is given, as you can see over here. Then uh, you have this Docker file and, and some, uh, you know, entry point.py, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is essentially a template. Now, let's see how we can deploy this uh, job and essentially submit this job for using EMR CLI. Now we can submit the job. Let me show you the command for that. Okay. So, again, this is how you're going to submit the job using the EMR CLI. You can use the word EMR run, and then these are the arguments that you can pass. Uh, the application ID is essentially your EMR serverless application ID, right? Uh, job role will be essentially an on that you use, right? So basically the on over here. Uh, this is where I'm saying to the EMR CLI that, hey, dump my code files and zip everything up and dump that into this particular uh, directory. Then hyphen hyphen build. So this is going to build the project. Uh, it's going to zip everything and, you know, uh, deploy that. Um, uh, to the EMR serverless and hyphen hyphen wait means submit the job and show me the status of the job on the console, right? So now let's see this in action, right? So uh, I am in the project directory, as you can see in my project, right? Now I'm gonna submit the job, okay? So as you can see now, uh, it's essentially building uh, everything. And once the build process is complete, uh, then what I expect is if I go to the S3, I don't have any folders here, so it's gonna, you know, that Spark Python file, it's probably gonna, you know, uh, dump it over here, okay, once this build process is complete. So let's wait, uh, let's be a little patient here and uh, wait for this to complete. And once this is complete, it should dump all the files on um, S3. So as you can see, deploying the entry point.py and the dependency to the S3 bucket. So now if I go here, as you can see, the, that's the entry point.py, just the way what I was expecting. Now, pretty soon, I should see a job in the pending state on the EMR serverless application. So if I come back here, again, right now, I do not have any jobs. Oh, yeah, so it did submit a job, as you can see. It's in the schedule set. And here you can see now it's in the running state, right? So now let's refresh and see whether it's in the running state. There you go. It's in the running state now. So again, EMR uh, uh, CLI really, really makes it easy. Before that, you know, you had to zip everything, then you know, deploy it on S3 and then submit things. But using this, it makes it really, really easy. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll leave the link to the AWS blog post in the description section below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.